He's frantically looking for his brother who hasn't answered his mobile since early yesterday and laid out on the floor of this mosque are hundreds of reasons to fear the worst. Muhammad's search is over. He has found his brother-in-law killed by a gunshot to the chest. He was a very good, he was talented. He would speak more than four languages. He, he, he was a very good, good person. The Muslim Brotherhood claim the death toll is in the thousands and that the official estimate, which has tripled in 24 hours, should not be trusted. There is every reason to believe that the Egyptian authorities are trying to downplay the carnage wrought by the police and army on the streets of Cairo yesterday. We've done a tally in this mosque. I lost count at 350 corpses. And this is just one of the places that the dead have been taken to. The Muslim Brotherhood say that funerals have had to be postponed because the police will not issue death certificates because they would provide a paper trail to the true number of victims. They don't want to acknowledge the number. They don't want to acknowledge that they have killed them with live bullets. They don't want to acknowledge that they have burned them after killing them. The army have been cleaning up the site of the massacre. The true version of what exactly took place here is a story that may never be told. By taking TV stations off the air and killing journalists, the authorities have limited unbiased accounts. What is undeniable is that the thoroughness of the destruction is shocking. Between dawn and dusk, a small town within a city was erased. Egypt's interior minister says the police and army used the minimum amount of force necessary to clear this mosque and the surrounding area of Muslim brothers. But given the extent of the damage here, the claim is ridiculous. The tactics seem to have been more akin to scorched earth. This was the view looking out over a busy encampment which 12 hours later had been reduced to this, a fiery hell. The authorities have sought to justify the operation by claiming it will take the heat out of things, but the extent of the killing and the way it was done may well have the opposite effect here. John Irvine, ITV News, Cairo.